It's gonna be fucking tempted. Wow. How much we got left, Dean? So I leave leave some for uh, Jamie. You reckon? <laughs> Two buckets.
It's almost 11 anyway. It's quarter to 11. What are you reckoning? What are you reckoning? Well, we've got two boards full. Yeah, gears, gears one more bucket and we'll fucking use up and go for snap. Blim it, I'll go hold oh, fuck. Now, some fucking workout this morning, dude. Hey guys, Harry here, back uh, with another Brick Lane voice, the voiceover part of the video. So, appreciate it if you've stuck to, uh, stuck around. Thanks a lot for your time, as always. Um, so, what we're doing today, we're uh, on a fourth lift, uh, jumping on another plot once again. So, we're on uh, another plot. Last week, that red out the on the red bricks, uh, we did uh, you know three quarters of a uh, of a first lift. It's not finished; it still needs a bit of uh, you know the day on it, finishing off some block work, etc. Um, but we're on this one now. This is another plot that needs pushing for program. So uh, helping Jamie out once again. Um, his brother's away, so uh, we jumped on this gable. He'd already done most of the block work, uh, all the block work, shall I say, on this one. At, and uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a couple of course of brick out away from Panite, so we're dropping on this. Um, the uh, these houses have gables, so there isn't a pan that goes on this uh, on this gable. It only goes on the back and the front, so uh, a little bit more traditional, a little bit easier. These Gleason houses are proving very very easy. Every lift I go on, I've been able to drop on two plots now this is the second plot uh sorry three plots this is the third plot i've just dropped on out of the blue and it's been straight forward easy there's nothing there's no detail over the windows at the back which is fantastic you know it's very rare even when i was at uh, a van doing those houses that that other sailing course just fucks the whole just fucks it up when with the, using the profiles it just fucks it up because you you know it just disturbs your build that get that oversailing course and obviously with the soapers as well contending just that it just makes everything want to roll and belly it's just you know nasty so making the most of these clay bricks um while we're on them I, I, look at how many how many clay bricks there are in the compound there must be some more clay brick houses but uh, there's also a lot of concrete so um we'll see I, i'm not sure I'm not sure if there'll be any more clay brick out, uh, slabs starting here. But we've got plenty of work on the clay bricks for the next uh, month or so. Um, so I'm, I'm happy enough. These 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 buff bricks are lovely to lay, to be honest. Um, so are the so are the reds. Fucking anything that's clay's bang on. I uh, can't fault it, fault it at all. Um, but yeah, so uh, today I was doing a bit more of you saw in the first clip. Doing a bit more traditional, just putting the uh, perp on the brick. Uh, I'm still using a two profile setup. I'm tailing out my returns with a level. You know, for this, for, I've, you know, for the time it takes to set up, you know, a line for three and a half bricks, I'll just do that with a level. You know, I'm, you know, I've, I've got to a point where I don't need to tap. You know, I can lay those bricks free and pretty much level, and then I'll just pop the level on the top, range it down. And the way you go, you know, and uh, with obviously these formers being not in check, you know, you, you know that's you've got a you've got a profile to go to on your on your reveals, which stabilizes your you know your your rear and front pillars on a on a fourth lift like this. So it makes it just easier, makes everything easier when you've got frames like this. And a lot of the guys are tending to set their their uh, walls out, you know, put the frames in on the block work. And you know, basically building the house semi backwards. I don't like doing it this way. I like to set my, you know, I like to build my reveals sort of free, you know, without the flip frame in. And then I slide them in, you know, after six, seven course, just so I can get my window clips in. Uh, but as long as they're in on the every course of block, that's why I sort of tend to rack back all my corners when I do my plots. I find it easier than you know setting it out like this. It's, it's just, um, you know, you can easily do it because the frame size, the block size and the brick size is the same. 
um, you know, measurement. So you can easily do it if you want to. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's one of them, you know, you can just measure straight across, which I might start doing. I'm not, I just don't, I like to, I prefer to do it on the brick. You get your perps, you know, you can make your, your perps a little bit tighter. You just find everything works a little bit better when you just set the brick work out first. So, you know, it is one, but I do like the fact, you know, when your frames are already set in like this, it is a nice lift when everything's set out like this. It's really good. You just measure down from your frame away you go. A lot of the, a lot of these fourth lifts as well. There's just the lintels go on and away you go. That's it. There's nothing, nothing goes on top of them, which is nice. Like on that uh, vant job, you summon to a fourth lift there. It's all soldiers over the fourth lift, which makes it a ball like. Um, and obviously here as well, there's only a pan on the front and the back, and it just makes. You know, the timber, you know, obviously on, on the Avant houses now, it's all timber top outs. There's no block top outs, and it does make it so you've got to get all four wall plates, you know, pretty much bang on. You know, there's more bedding of wall plates. There's, you don't get anything for bedding them on, which it's all in the price. A lot of market shit. Uh, I don't like it when it's like that. So, you know, putting a wall plate on it, you know, it's an hour's work. So you should be getting, you know, at least an hour's money, if not more. Um uh so yeah i do prefer it with just two wall plates a lot easier as well um yeah i'm like i'm getting i'm liking these houses the fucking e the the dead easy um although we on an onset you know when you look at them they can sometimes look like they've got ins and outs all over and some of them are but majority of the house is dead easy the back of the back and two gables are where you make your money in the front are sometimes a little bit in and out but they're not that bad they're uh they're uh they they have a lot of pros uh, compared to the cons. Uh, you see here, I'm doing the just perping the brick. You know, uh, this is how I used to lay bricks for years, going backwards. I always used to prefer going backwards, perping the brick like this because you you're pressing, putting your perp on the front and pressing it straight away. You know, it's so much better doing it like this. If I was going forward, I'd put it on the back side of the brick instead of the front. Um, but the mortar was coming out pretty wet today. Uh, and, and on these bricks, these bricks lay better traditional anyway. The yellows always, the buff bricks always lay better traditional. Um, the mortar's got to be just right for pick and dip, and it, it ain't always uh, possible on these bricks. The, the holes are just a bit big. I find the uh, red bricks pick and dip a little bit better. Um, they're still, they're all a four terra LBC brick. If you watch the traditional bricky Neil, uh, whatever his name is, um, he did a video on the four terra. LBC buff brick. This was the base of the brick you're on about. Um, that's what I'm laying, you know. So, pretty pretty common brick, you know. Seems seems around the north that everyone's going to concrete up north where I'm. I'm I'm in Scunthorpe at the moment, so it's sort of Lincolnshire, but it's sort of concrete. It seems everywhere I'm going, it's concrete. It's the, they can't tender for enough clay bricks at the moment with the shortage, or they can't get enough for these sites for how fast they want the houses. So it's seems concrete all around so uh, anyway uh, but yeah so Dean's been getting on the travel as well I've not been really filming much um, of us both laying I got a little bit of footage on Friday's video uh, but you know he probably put down 100 bricks today which is um, you know it's really good I, I've been that's why I'm using profiles so much easier when you've got someone wanting to learn profiles you know there's so much you can just get this was a flat start as well on this lift you know, two, Dean loaded out two packs of bri two packs of bricks, loading from the back. I start in the back corner, as you see here, and then we built this in two halves. I, I just find the you know splitting the gable into two halves it's a lot easier. No movement joints on these Gleason houses as well. Um, if you're wondering, that's why I've not come up to a movement joint yet. They don't need them because they're that small. I was, I've been told anyway, uh, but they are pretty pretty small houses, so. Um, Lack of movement joints. This will uh, this will probably change when we go to concrete bricks. Um, you know, there'll be more movement joints, which they just they just do slow you down. Movement joints just slow you down in general. I've uh, I haven't realised because I've been doing a lot of semis um, when I've been back on housing that how much movement joints do fuck your build up a little bit. You know, it's just stop ending everywhere. Whereas when you just when you haven't got a movement joint, it's just it's easier. It's easier, not as many ties to put in as well. That's a that's a one ball like of uh, of the movement joint putting ties in every course and block up that, up each side of the movement joint. You've got your you know your slip tie and Johnny. It's um, just all extra things to remember. Whereas 
these houses, just get a pack of tie wires, you know, um, especially on a, on a lift like this, pack of tie wires, some, you don't even need damp over your, over your top lintels, because it's just, that's where they finish, there's no damp needs to go on your fourth lift lintels, it's fucking, it's a doddle, uh, there's no over the top of them, um, pack of ties and away you go, some window clips, you know, that's about it, so, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll, uh, I'll stop talking, that's what we're doing, we should be, we'll be on here tomorrow, probably not film tomorrow, and then I'll film when I'm back on that, uh, back on my own plot, uh, which you've seen me do, um, over a few video series, and you've seen me do, uh, you've seen one video on that, on that, on that, uh, Joyce lift, very, very easy Joyce lift to be fair, very, quite a big house to be fair, it's a bit deceiving because it goes in and out, but if you inverted those internals, it'd be a, it'd be a nice big box, um, but yeah, anyway guys, I will, um, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you at the end of the video.
and it's like looking down the barrel of a bum and it goes off Wagwan? Well, Alright Dino? That end one just touch it line D that end wow. That's that end bit touch it line that's all Bang on that. Now then, now then, barely on. So it's Monday again, uh, this is what we've uh, got done today, it's footage you saw this morning. All that up on that fourth lift, out corner, around that corner. Alright, see you in the next one. <laughs>